In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a fixed rate loan payment calculator. So basically just how to use an Excel spreadsheet to calculate your payments on a loan and then to figure out of that payment how much you're paying for the principal, how much for the interest, and uh, how much you have left on the loan. So let me go ahead, go ahead and explain what I have here. I've got a box for the amount of the loan a box for the yearly interest rate, so the annual interest rate, a box for the term of the loan in years, and then I have a box which is going to tell you what the monthly payment is going to be due for the loan. Underneath that I have a box for the monthly rate, and that's because if you're going to pay it monthly you need to know the monthly interest rate and not just the yearly interest rate. Down here I have it laid out so it's going to show you what month you're in, the payment for the month, which is it's going to be the same because this assumes fixed rate, the amount of that payment that's principal, amount for interest, your beginning balance, and the ending balance. Now it's really not too difficult to do this so let me go ahead and uh, start by showing you what we need to do. I have it all done here but I'm going to go over all the steps. So for the amount you just have a blank cell and you can enter whatever amount you want in here. So I can change it. For the interest rate, just to sell for the interest rate. Now I formatted this as a dollar amount and the interest rate as a percentage amount. And I'm assuming that this interest rate is annual. And then a cell for the term in years. The next thing you want to do is you want to calculate this interest rate for a month because that's the yearly interest rate. And you can't just divide 6.5 by 12 because the monthly interest rate has to be compounded to get to 6.5 percent. So let me show you what I have here. Zoom in a bit. For the monthly rate cell what you want to do is 1 plus the yearly interest rate raised to the power of, that's a little carrot there, 1 divided by the number of periods you want to do the interest rate for, here it's 12 for 12 months, and then you want to minus all of that by 1. So it's basically it's 1 plus the interest rate raised to the power of 1 divided by the factor or the number of uh, periods in one year, I guess, or one for the interest rate, minus one. A little bit confusing, just note that here it's basically saying one plus 6.5 percent and then caret, so raised to the power of, one divided by 12 months and then minus one. So if it was semi-annual, just change this to a 2 instead of 12 and it's going to get you the right number. So that's how you do the monthly rate. Now once you have the monthly interest rate what you want to do is calculate the monthly payment. Now the monthly payment it's very simple just a PMT function for payment and I'm going to go ahead I have it all right here but I'm going to go ahead and redo it right underneath or right above. So to calculate the payments we want to do equals PMT open parentheses the rate and what you want for the rate is the monthly rate so right there comma the number of periods and for the number of periods all I'm going to do here is the loan amount in years and I'm going to multiply that by 12 for 12 months, comma, and then the present value, which is just the current amount of the loan here. And then if you want, you can do future value and type, but that doesn't apply here. So all you do is rate, number of periods, present value. Close parentheses, hit enter. You're going to get red because you're paying 
$1,549.72. So it comes out of your pocket. So if you want to take that off, if you want to look like it does down here, simply right before the PMT function, put a minus sign in there. Hit enter, and it's going to look like that. So now what that tells you is that your monthly payments for 30 years for a fixed rate of 6.5% per year on a $250,000 loan, the monthly payments will be $1,549.72. So that's really, you could stop there and it could be just very basic and show you that. It's really up to you how uh, complicated you want to make this. So once you have this, I'm just going to go ahead and delete one of these. If I change the loan to 15 years, the payments went up to over 2100 If I change the interest rate to 4%, so you get a good deal, monthly payments go down. So really you only need this right here, and that's going to calculate uh, everything you need for your fixed rate loans. Now what I have down here, I'm going to explain in more depth in a, uh, another tutorial, but it's basically just formatting. So I show you the number of months that you have, the, the payments, which are going to stay consistent, how much that payment's principal, interest, and I show you it for the life of the loan. So let's go extreme here just because uh, I don't want to scroll down too much. If I have a five-year loan, you can see that it only goes to 60 months. So it shows you every month in the period it's going to be paid for. If I go to four years, you can see it only shows up to 48. Now it's a really simple way that I did this and uh, I'm going to show you how to do that in the next tutorial. But if you want to go ahead and grab the spreadsheet to follow along or uh, get some other Excel stuff, just go to my website teachexcel.com and you can go ahead and download this spreadsheet here.